Hi everyone, it's Steve Stewart back again with another episode of Ore Finders Drill Bits and very excited to talk about today's uh, April 3rd's news release. We just made another really great acquisition. It's called the McGarry property. Uh, the McGarry property is located on the Beverly Hills of real estate. Really, it's the Cadillac Larder Lake Fault. We own about two and a half kilometers of it now. It's located directly beside the Kerr Addison Mine. For those of you who do not know what the Kerr Addison Mine is, it is one of Canada's richest and most profitable, largest gold mine ever. 12 million ounce produced over, over a 50 year lifespan. There are very, very few uh, mines in Canada that produced over 10 million and this one had 12. We're right beside it. We have the same type of geology, same type of ore, and we even have a mine on it. So as recently as 2013, uh, the McGarry mine itself was in production. It was totally rehabbed. It's got a shaft, it's got a hoist, it's got a head frame, it's got offices. Uh, core shack, um, you name it, it has it. There's been extensive underground exploration. Go to our news release again, orefinders.ca, April 3rd. Take a look at the grades there. Extremely, extremely high grades, very long lengths, and those are ore grade intersections. No question about it. Uh, so we're very, very excited to have it. What else does the property have? It has over 100,000 meters in drilling. Uh, so it's been explored extensively in and around what's known as the, the McGarry Shaft Zone. And, and that's obviously going to be an area of, of focus. It's got a 43101. It has a PEA on it, but Orfinders is going to update that, look at it through our own eyes, uh, incorporate new data, and we'll move forward uh, that way. Aside from, uh, from the existing known resources, there's been other exploration on multiple zones. We, we list each of them on our uh, news release and describe the upside there. There's an existing open pit that was in production prior to uh, the shaft underground zone, so open pit production, very, very good grades, lots of drill holes. We think it goes, goes much deeper than the pit actually exists. And then there's all sorts of other really interesting intersections on other areas that re require follow-up. So the bottom line is this thing has an established resource. It has former production. It's got one of the best neighbors in Canada, also to the, to the immediately to the west, we've got Bonterra. They've got about a million ounces of high grade underground. Uh, so this is exactly where you want to be to find and delineate a really good ore body. Um, there's a ton of data and, and that's going to be, again, one of our focuses is to, is to look at it through our own eyes, apply our own techniques, get our own uh, team on it and move this thing forward. Um, we, we acquired it from a company called Kerr Mines. Kerr Mines, um, I encourage you to go look at their historical market cap when they were at their highs, which is not too long ago. Uh, they were a very large company and this was their flagship. And now we, we own it and we bought it at a price of a million dollars in ore finder shares. I think that uh, speaks for itself. It's a very, very uh, good deal. We think this thing has tremendous upside. It requires geological interpretation and investment and we'll do that going forward but for now we own this thing it's not going anywhere it's 100 percent owned and there's there's a huge opportunity for our shareholders uh, it fits very well with the morado it's uh, and night we're all sort of within a very tight radius of each other so now ore finders owns three advanced stage known resources camp type uh, plays uh, that in time are going to be uh, explored and hopefully developed into major ore bodies. This sort of business model is, is the exact same thing that worked on, on the Malarctic, which is now Canada's largest gold mine, the Detour, which is probably Canada's second largest gold mine, um, Cote Lake, which is a project that we were very much involved with, and, and of course just recently Sigma Lamac. So we like this business model, we like the, the real estate, we, what we have, we think we're buying things at uh, really a fraction of their future value and you know that's going to be reflected in our share value. So that's it for now, I encourage you to go online, uh, look at our news release, there's lots of detail there, um, do your due diligence, go on Cedar, check the historical reports, the 43101, the PEA and then give me a call, happy to talk about the asset, what we're gonna be doing and our plans going forward for 2018. It's, it's, it's been a very, very busy year and we anticipate it to be um, the same sort of pace going forward. So stay tuned for more. Thank you and we'll talk later.